What's up guys, Jay here, and I have a super cool box set for you. Harry Potter, the 8 film, original, I don't know why I said original, but the collection of all Harry Potter movies. And uh, you can see that this is different. Like this, this down here is a different rating, and it's like, what is all these weird numbers and stuff on here? This is actually a UK version of the movies. Which is not any different than the other movies, it's just that the packaging and the film rating and stuff, it's just from the UK, right? So it's rated, I guess this is 12 for meaning 12 year olds and uh, under maybe, you know, disturbing images or, well, it's, it's their rating system basically. But these, this is a super, well what it is is right now there's a super cheap um, deal on Amazon. This, oh, this box set has the Blu-rays of all eight Harry Potter movies um, for $43 and since I have Amazon Prime I didn't have to pay shipping or anything like that so just $43 I paid for all eight movies on Blu-ray which I don't have a collection of the Harry Potter movies which I want to have so now I do have it and look at this freaking box art is so freaking cool it's like I really do dig that and it says 20 years of Harry Potter magic. Has it been 20 years since Harry Potter came out? That's crazy. This was a this was kind of a, a, re, a deal that came out I guess to promote to promote Fantastic Beasts because it still has a sticker on the front here which it's been out for a while. The Blu-ray of that is out. Um, so it's cool. Let's just open this up and see what's going on. My package is already ripped from when I opened it uh, from the other uh, package it was already kind of tore on here, so I don't know. I guess the whoever was shipping this uh, in my town, they just kind of, I don't know, they threw this, or threw it around in the back. I don't know what they did, but let's open this up, and I'll give you a good look at what it is. It's actually really shiny once you get the plastic off. Oh, my gosh. Really cool. Really cool. Wow, it looks a lot better without the plastic on there. Um, so there's from the top. This might be actually be like a long review of this because I have to. I'm gonna look at all the discs and everything in here. You can't really see that, but that's just showing you year one and all the different movies. Um, let's take these. Let's take this out of here and let's look at uh, the movies and uh, everything else. Okay, cool. So um, this is actually I forgot to mention this. This is a 16 disc Blu-ray set. It shows it down. It says down at the bottom, 16 disc Blu-ray set. It's crazy. And you you take off the slip cover there, the cardboard slip cover. And uh, let me see if I can show this the right way. Here we go. Um, it shows all the years. And it's uh, that's pretty cool. Let's if I can take one out at a time and show you. So this one has uh, the Philosopher's Stone. It actually is the Philosopher's Stone instead of the Sorcerer's Stone because you all know that probably if the uh, Philosopher's Stone is the UK release uh, of it then on the other side we have Chamber of Secrets which is the second movie look at that it's pretty sweet and actually gives a picture of the chamber see this is awesome this is what I like about a bo uh, box set then we have inside we have um, the discs themselves which are pretty cool let me take the um, philosopher's stone one out so this is the disc for the for the philosopher's stone WB I think I don't know if all of them will look like this or not or they may have different art on the front but what I don't what I'm not a big fan of is this cardboard cardboard thing to put the movies back in because you uh, because it's hard to get the movies back into that little cardboard sleeve and it's like it's a pain in the butt but I mean it's legitimately a, legitimately a box set right because this is a freaking box um, but then below it on each one is like the special features discs this one is creating the world of Harry Potter part one the magic begins so that's pretty cool. And that's on Blu-ray as well. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan, I mean, this is so cheap for a box set. Because I looked at other box sets before, 
and they're like 70 bucks or 80 bucks for the movies and it's like this is 43 dollars and what i forgot to mention is that these are what it says they're region free so that means you can play them on any device because if you didn't if they weren't region free blu-rays and stuff that you buy from that are uk or anything like that you can they won't work on your blu-ray player but the sorry these ones are supposed to be i had like a burp there these ones are supposed to be region free and i will make sure i try them out and let you guys know that it does work for sure harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban which is a lot of people's favorite movie um actually on the flip side the goblet of fire is my favorite i actually like that one better i think the prisoner of azkaban is probably altogether a better movie like just structurally tonally visually all the way it's kind of done but i just really really have a soft spot for the goblin of fire it's just my favorite one just because the the triwizard tournament the dragons <coughs> sorry jeez i'm talking so much and <clears throat> i haven't been i've been talking a lot like recently and my voice is just kind of like gone ski um so you do get a digital um copy with this that i just found here in the middle and you get all eight movies on uh, blue or uh, they uh i mean they come you can watch anywhere but what happens is with this code is that you can't use it unless you have to unless you're from the uk but if you do have it here in america you can still get the code to work you just have to email um wb and there's a certain email that you can find on here um but you'll have to have a certain account uh a voodoo or uh, a uv account or something and they'll hook you up but you have to verify your purchase so um usually i would give out the code and say hey guys just take the movie but you wouldn't be able to actually access this because unless you do live in uk then you could get it because the code would be for um your your area specifically but with if you live in America, you couldn't get it unless you could verify the purchase, which you'd have to send them a copy of the receipt, and or a, you know you could scan it or take a picture and send it to them. Um, but you, none of you guys will have access to my personal information, so you won't be able to get the code. So blah blah. I'm gonna forget about that. Um, going on to the next one, we have which one is Order of the Phoenix is next. And that's pretty cool. A little, uh, like, crystal ball with dragons. Oh, those are the prophecy orbs. Um, I was trying to think, what is that? That's pretty cool. Then your six. Oh, Half-Blood Prince, which is another one of my favorites. I really like Half-Blood Prince. Um, and it sh those are little vials of uh, potions because of, you know, chemicals that, uh, you know, the... Potions Master, Snape was that, and yeah, you guys know. I don't have to tell you Harry Potter fans. Here we go, and then we have part one with the cool, the Horcrux, the necklace there. And then on the back side we have the Deathly Hollow symbol with the Elder Wand in the middle. Pretty cool. A lot of people have this Elder Wand, or a lot of people have this um, Deathly Hallows tattoo. It's a pretty cool tattoo, and I see a lot of, I really see a lot of girls having it. They have it, and uh, I guess there is quite a bit of girls that are really big Harry Potter fans. Don't know how that happens or why. Um, I guess, but no, no guys really have the, the uh, Deathly Hollows tattoo. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. I didn't show you all the discs. But they're all the same. They uh, they are the, all the same um, in here. Oh wait, no, they're not. They have little. They do have little. They do have different things on them. The discs are all colored the same. Um, they all look like this. Uh, but they they are different a little bit on the um, just on the special features ones. The, the special features ones for Order of the Phoenix, you can't even probably tell from the... Hey, let me see, see if you can tell. You probably can't even tell from the... You can a little bit, but that's like a phoenix symbol. Or a... I, I'm sure it's a phoenix on the, the disc, but it's kind of in the background. 
uh, and it's hard to see, but they do have a little bit of, they do have different things on them, so that's pretty cool. On this one, it has the, uh, it has a Patronus uh, dough um, for, which one is this? The Deathly Hollows Part 2. I don't know why I would have the dough on that one. That one should be on um, Prisoner of Azkaban, probably. Uh, let me see what, what Prisoner of Azkaban has on there. See, I'm just going all crazy now, and I'm not even... Here we go. Prisoner of Azkaban. What does... What is that? It looks like a... I don't even know what it is. I can't even tell what that is. The Goblin... The Fire one has a Goblin of Fire on it. Why does this have something weird on it? Um, it has like the... I guess it's supposed to be the thing that, um, I can't even remember what the name of it is. The thing that Harry flies on, that, uh, scratches Malfoy on the arm. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be that, but it's like a really weird kind of caricature drawing of it. But still, that's pretty cool to have those, uh, I guess they're more like etchings, I would say, on the discs, but that's pretty cool. Um, so, I'm gonna cut this off here. And I'll uh, get back to you after I try the discs and see, make sure that they work. And um, I might give you clips to show you the quality of how good they actually look. I'm gonna play the first disc and um, see how the see how it looks on in Blu-ray quality for uh, the Philosopher's Stone. Cause I've watched I watched the movies recently. I just got them from my local library because they have all the DVDs there. And I just got the D the old DVDs and man, it looks terrible. It's so bad, this standard 420 quality for the first movie, and it's it's bad. Uh, so I'll, I'm, I'll show, I'll include a clip of a uh, of the movie and show you how good it looks on the Blu-ray. So I'll be back. Stay tuned for that. This is a clip from the movie here. What is strange about this is that when I first started it, it just starts the movie. There's no title menu. It pops. It just starts the movie. For real, this menu that you get at the bottom is the only thing you get. If you you can you see this thing, the uh, Gryffindor um, house uh, sigil is over here that is actually highlighted. But you just click on that and it just goes off. It doesn't take you to a menu or a title menu or anything. It just goes away. Um, if I hit scene selections, it pops up from there, and of course it, you can select the scenes, which is pretty standard and, and easy, and it looks nice. The Gryffindor. And everything I like the colors but it's so and then you do special features and the movie doesn't stop playing it's still playing in the background and there's all these different things I like all the features it's like what is this even language Slovinsky what the heck is Slovinsky no offense to any Slovinskis but um, like what is that even and then uh, additional footage and a lot of special features just on the regular disc this isn't the special features disc it's the actual disc for the movie, so there's still a lot of um, things are on here. It's pretty crazy, but it blows me away that there's no special feature or there's no title menu. What the heck? Yeah, but it has English for subtitles and um, English Dolby True HD, which I guess sounds pretty good. Um, uh, for I guess it's probably upgraded. English PCM, I don't even know what that is. English descriptive narr um, narration, that's it. That's just like where they'll describe the movie to you, which is pretty cool that they have that as an option on here. Uh, but that, that's just so crazy that they don't have a uh, a title menu for you to, for anything. It just completely starts the movie. I, I can pause it um, and I can look at the, look at all this other stuff. But if I if I bring up the special features menu, the movie will still play in the background. It's just so crazy to me. Uh, that's not that it's a terrible thing. Um, it's just weird. It's strange. So uh, I'm going to test out some of the other discs and see if they're the same or if they have a different um, a different feature. So, um, But it's as you can see, it's playing just fine. So no issues. And they, this may be a UK thing that UK Blu-rays don't have... An actual title menu. They just start the movie and they let you do the options from from uh, from the just on the movie itself. Uh, yeah, just kind of flabbergasted. Um, uh, so I'm gonna shoot it back to real picture me and um, 
I'll explain what else is going on with the other discs. So I checked out three of the discs. They're all they all work. Um, the region free thing is is good so far. Um, I'll give I'll give an update video if I try one of the discs and it doesn't work later on. Um, but I will I will do that. But uh, three are working fine, so I'm sure that all of them will work fine. Um, they all do the same thing. They start up just there's no title menu. All there is is that pop-up from the bottom menu while the movie's playing. The menus look different on each disc, which is cool. They're not all just um, like the one I showed you in the capture was um, just like the Gryffindor colors and uh, things like that. In the other movies, they're, they're different. They have their own kind of style that would fit more for that movie. So that is cool. Um, overall... Uh, I think it's it, for the price you can't beat this it's it's great um, if you love Harry Potter and you don't have a set of the blu-rays I think this one is is perfect um, the the cardboard part of it is the only part that I don't exactly like even though we get some cool art um, on the covers and uh, things like that I wish they were just in a case you know that a, like a jewel case that could clamp down instead of being in like a little sleeve because I just don't think that's good for the disc um, and that's the only kind of problem that I have with it but it but it's more slim this way and it's lighter you don't have a bunch of weight or a bunch of excess stuff this is pretty small packaging for 16 discs that you know you get a lot of features with it so if you want to watch all the, it has commentary tracks, I think, for each movie. Like, they have director commentary tracks. It's really, it's, it's, a, it's a thorough deal here. Um, so, Harry Potter, the UK collection, 8 film collection, I would recommend. Um, $43, man. It's a pretty good deal. And the, the Blu-ray code, or the uh, digital HD code, you can get it. You just have to email them if you purchase it. Uh, so, I guess that's it for my review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and thought this was helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss another Blu-ray review. I have another special one coming up pretty quick. So, subscribe so you don't miss that. And, I guess I'll see you next time.